Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am here today with a project for Not Too Shabby. I'm going to show you how to use the latest stamp and die of the month to create two fun gift card holders from just one piece of cardstock. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Earlier this month, Not Too Shabby released their latest stamp and die of the month. This one is called Berry Christmas, and I just love the bears in this set along with those fun, punny images. Now, you can get the stamp set by itself if it's still available, or you can get it as a bundle with the coordinating dies. I do have links for both in that description box below. And while you're there, you might want to sign up for the monthly option just so you're sure to receive the set each month. Because let me tell you, they keep getting cuter and cuter and they sell out pretty quickly. Now also in the description box, I have a coupon code for 10% off. You can't use it on this set, but you can use it on many other products in the shop. They carry not only their own line of products, but many other popular brands as well. The image that I'm going to be using from the stamp set today is this cute one here with the bear holding the present. Now, one of the things about this, the sentiment that goes with it says, I come bearing gifts. You definitely don't have to make a Christmas gift card holder out of what I'm going to do today. You could switch it up for any time of the year. As I start the process, I will tell you about any other products and tools that I'm going to use. But if I leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started, I got out one piece of craft cardstock that will end up being two gift card holders. I cut this in half to four and a quarter inches wide, and then I got out my score buddy. Now you can use any scoring tool you have for this, I just had this handy. Each of these pieces is going to get scored at three inches from the left, and then in half at five and a half inches. Then it gets rotated 180 degrees and scored three inches from the left again. Now, if your scoring tool can handle a larger piece of paper, you would do it at three inches, five and a half inches, and eight inches. Next, I brought in my gift card slot die. This will fit a gift card horizontally once it is die cut. Now, if you don't have something like this, don't worry. I will show you an alternative. I am gonna use that center score line that I made to not only fold the piece in half, but I will also line my gift card up centered along that. I tried to center it so it's even top to bottom, and I can see through that opening to where my score line is. I took this off camera to die cut that, and here's what that finished one looks like. Now I'm gonna show you an alternative way to make that slit. Now for me right now, I'm just going to place my first one over the one that's not die cut and mark the top and bottom of the opening. But what you'll want to do is get out a ruler and center three and a half inches along that score line and mark the zero line and the three and a half inch mark. Then I brought in a hole punch and I'm going to be punching a hole at each end so that the line is at the outside or the bottom part of the hole punch. So I do that on both ends here and what this is going to do is keep the slot from stretching too far since it has that rounded end. I brought back in that ruler and I lined up the edge with the outside edge of each of the holes. Then I lightly drew a line between the two. 
You do need to do this on both sides of the holes so you have a nice guide. Now this will be covered up later so no worries about the pencil lines. Once they're drawn, you'll get a pair of fine tip scissors, or if you want to use an X-Acto knife, you can do that as well. But you'll just cut that area out so you have a nice slot for your gift card. Just a heads up too, that at the end of this video, I will have a special surprise giveaway that might help you create your own gift card holders if you don't already own similar dies. So make sure to keep watching. Now I'm gonna do a little decorating on those pieces that we just die cut. I will be using the Bear With The Present, some craft ink from Gina K Designs, and to stamp onto, I got out my foam mat, and I got this piece of grid paper out just because I will be stamping off the edges. I'm gonna start with the one that I cut by hand, and the pencil markings will be facing me. For this, I'm going to decorate the outside two panels because once this is glued and folded, these will be the front and back of the gift card holder. I stamp my bears just repeatedly at different angles and places on the gift card holder. And once I have that panel on the right finished, I do the same thing with the panel on the left. I also want to add some of these adorable bears to the inside of the gift card holder, but so I'll have room later to write like a special note to the recipient, I did go ahead and mask off with some post-it notes the outside two panels, and I will just be decorating the middle two, and basically I'm going to use the same process as on the front, just randomly stamping my bears until everything's filled up. Once those two panels were all filled up, I removed the masks and I did reuse those to do the same thing to the second gift card holder. Now that both of the pieces are decorated, we can start assembling these so they look more like a gift card holder. You're going to put the side up that has the outside two panels decorated and we are going to put kind of a U of adhesive around one side of the center panel. On this first one, I did the left center panel. You'll see here around the outside edges, making sure not to put any adhesive parallel along the gift card slot die. The piece will then get folded in half and you'll see that a gift card will fit right there nice and snugly. And then the front and back covers will get folded up around it. So it's almost kind of like a little book. I assembled the second one and you'll see on this one I put the adhesive on the center right panel. Now if you don't want to use a tape runner, you could definitely use liquid glue as well. Just make sure it's a nice strong adhesive. Now we're going to start working on the decoration for the front of the gift card holders. I will be using the same craft ink and craft cardstock and the bear with present image. I stamped this onto my scrap of craft cardstock two times and you'll notice here that I do ink it up and stamp each one two to three times. I wanted to make sure I got a nice solid brown on this. Because Gina K inks do fade back a little bit, it will be a little bit lighter in the end. My next step was to use some alcohol markers to color in one of the bears. Now, I could have left this out because I don't end up using this one, but I just wanted you to see that we all make happy accidents as card makers. After I did the coloring, I did re-stamp over that first bear, and then I took both of these images off screen to die cut them out with the coordinating die. Now originally I was going to have the one present colored in and then paper piece the second bear's present, but I did decide to go ahead and paper piece both of those. So using that same craft ink and the bear stamp, I stamped it twice onto this polka dot pattern paper that is from Not Too Shabby's Dots for Summer Collection. Once I had two of those images stamped onto the pattern paper, I took them off screen to fussy cut the presents. 
It was at this point where I noticed how my one bear that I had colored in, the color had just kind of like faded or spread into the background. So I did go ahead and stamp and die cut one more bear that was just craft and brown ink. Now I do want to apologize. Something happened with my camera settings and the rest of the video is a little fuzzy. But don't worry, you'll still get to see the process and at the end I do have high quality pictures of the finished pieces. So please bear with me. Once the paper piece presents had some time to dry, off screen I added rosy cheeks to each of my bears using the stamp in the set and some pink ink. Also off screen, I cut a scrap of vellum to two and a quarter inches wide by three and a half inches tall. This is going to be part of the front decoration for one of the gift cards, and I want to stamp the sentiment onto it, but I wanted to also make sure it would fit below the bear. So I got out my Misty, I got my bear put on that piece of vellum, got that sentiment lined up, and then I inked it up and stamped it twice. Now because vellum is not porous and this is not an ink like stays on, once I had stamped it that couple times, I did quickly bring in my heat tool to dry that as best as I could. For the sentiment on the second gift card holder, I wanted that to go on the inside. So once again, using my Misty, I got the I Come Bearing Gift stamp set up on the inside and I stamped it on the leftmost panel. Once again, I did ink it up and stamp it a few times to get a nice dark brown. Now that all of the elements were ready to go, it was time to get these decorated and finished up. I'm going to start the one with the plain bear on the front and the sentiment on the inside. Because these do kind of pop open, I want something to help keep it closed. So I will be punching a small hole in the front and back of this. I did make a mark there in the center at 2 and 1 8 inches and then use the smallest hole on my crocodile. I made a punch in the front and the back cover and then I brought in some red and white twine. I cut off enough that it would wrap around the front and back of the gift card holder and still leave some room to tie it in a bow. I threaded that piece of twine through both holes from back to front. Then I wrapped the twine around the gift card holder. I made sure that the strands were even and then I put some foam tape on the back of my bear, not only to add a little dimension to this, but to hold the twine in place. Once my bear was in place on the front, kind of centered on there, I tied a bow with my twine. Now the tails on the bow are kind of long, but I did leave that length just to help with the ease of tying later. For the second one, I did once again use a foam tape on the back of my bear, but this time it got put onto the vellum before placing it onto the gift card holder. To hold the vellum piece in place and to keep the adhesive from showing, you'll see there I used some liquid glue, only putting it behind where the bear or the foam tape would cover. I let that dry for about five minutes off screen, then I brought back in my ruler and made some more holes in the covers of these. Instead of wrapping the twine around the holder this time, I cut a length of probably eight inches and just thread it through both holes and tied a bow on the side. Here's a close up look at both of the finished pieces. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these two gift card holders. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now for that little surprise giveaway I told you about earlier in the video. I will be gifting one of my subscribers this set of gift card dies.
you get two slots here similar to what I used although mine are open in the center but that won't matter they will still die cut you have one to put your gift card horizontal and one if you rotate it you can slip it down in like that there are also notches for a gift card you could just cut those out of your card the inside and just slip the gift card behind the tabs so this is actually a set of four dies that you'll snip apart when you get it I bought a lot of these a few years ago I found them cheap I think on Amazon if I can still find them I will link them below but again it's been years now let me tell you how you can be entered to win First off, you do need to be a subscriber to my channel who is at least 18 years old. If you're not already a subscriber, it's quick, it's free, it's easy. Just click on that subscribe button below this video. And so you're notified of my new videos, make sure to ring that bell for notifications. This will be open to US and international subscribers. To enter, you will need to like this video and leave a comment below it can say anything, please keep it kind, but you do need to include the hashtag, hashtag gift card die, just like I have it up on screen. So because this is a surprise or hidden giveaway, please do not outright say, oh, thanks for the chance to win this. I do want to keep it for those of you who are watching all the way through my video. If you do give the giveaway away in your comment, I will be deleting it. So make sure to keep that in mind when you leave that comment. Your comments will need to be left by midnight on July 17th, 2022. And I will pick a winner that next week. Good luck in the giveaway, and until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above, and if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.